Students, hello! Uh, this is the syllabus overview video. It will be longer because I'm going to go through it fairly well in depth and talk about your uh, individual assignments as well as uh, some of the big projects that we'll be working on throughout the class. Um, I will have title cards uh, periodically throughout the video so that later on if you have any questions you want to refer back to the video it'll make it a little bit easier to scroll through without having to watch the entire thing over again but I encourage you to invest your minutes right now at the beginning of the semester and watch it all to get started. Uh, I'm assuming that you have downloaded a copy of the syllabus and that you are reading it through while you are watching this video. If you haven't done that, hit pause and do that. Uh, okay, so um, on the first page you will see the required texts. These are the texts that you have to purchase or find at your library or borrow from somebody. Um, and keep your, your syllabus handy throughout the semester because uh, your other readings you can download from Blackboard. So as you're going through the Blackboard assignments and content, all of that is up there, but these texts may not be listed. Uh, so it will be up to you um, to make sure that you are reading everything that you're supposed to be reading for the semester. Your syllabus is your new best friend. Hooray! Um, grading and evaluation, also on the first page. Uh, the weekly assignments will be averaged together. Every other assignment chunk that is listed there, um, each piece is worth that much of your final grade, but the first, the weekly assignments, those are averaged together. Uh, you will have uh, four papers, 15% of your final grade each, and making 60% of your total grade. So that's gonna be the bulk of what we're doing is you synthesizing the information uh, that we talk about throughout the semester. On page two, you will see the late assignment policy. Uh, basically, if your assignment is late, it loses half credit. Um, that is my baseline policy. Uh, if you have extenuating circumstances, things come up, I understand that life happens, please talk to me about it. I'll work with you. Um, I want people to succeed in this class. As always, I reserve the right to be nicer than my policies, but this is my baseline policy. Uh, turn your stuff in on time. Um, the ADA accommodations, uh, it is your responsibility, um, and I add it is also your right to request accommodations. Contact the Learning Support Services um, if they'll be beneficial to your learning. I want you to succeed and I want you to learn the logistics of how you learn. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So please, if the accommodations will be useful to you, use them. Um, and yeah, scroll on down to page three. Uh, your academic integrity policy. Basically, don't cheat, uh, but specifically for this class, um, don't plagiarize, use your own words. Um, this means doing your own work, obviously, um, but also using your own words. If you're going to be citing or referencing uh, the papers that you're reading in this course, or even other papers that you have written in this course, so you're citing your own words, you have to reference it. Uh, that's part duplicating your words as part of plagiarism and, and academic uh, integrity violation. So um, keep this in mind while you're working. Um, I know this is new to a lot of students, and it's an ongoing difficult issue. We'll work together if you have any questions at all. Talk to me, talk to the writing lab. There's a writing lab online as well. Talk to the library, talk to the dean of students. Uh, we'll be using SafeAssign to check your class assignments for plagiarism, so this will be an issue that we'll be working on. Um, it's, it's important in academia, so here is one of the things that we will be uh, practicing uh, for this course. Uh, now, the description of assignments. This is the big one. Your weekly homework, first of all, we will have critical summaries of readings um, every single week. These are short. I know three to four pages may sound like it's long to be writing every week. That's not a lot of space to be discussing um, a lot of reading, and we're going to be doing a lot of reading. 
Um, these are academic reviews of your readings. They will be written in an academic style. Uh, this is the place where you will be talking about information. You will be talking about Im implications of information. This is not the place for your opinions and for emotional content about what you're experiencing as you're reading it. This is the place for knowledge and information. Uh, use APA format. Um, a good online reference for uh, using correct APA format is Purdue OWL. Google it, you'll find it. I use it when I'm writing. Um, each week you will be writing your three to four page essay. Um, and as I said in the course introduction video, you're, you are not going to be focusing narrowly on details or the minutia of the readings. You will be talking about overall content and information and arguments, informa um, implications and theories and uh, how these things fit together. In three to four pages, you have to cover all of the readings. You're not going to write a separate page paper for each reading. Uh, one paper each week for all of the readings. Um, and I will stop reading after four pages, so you do have to limit yourself, and I know that's going to be a challenge for some of you. I feel your pain on the same way. But um, each week's essay must include, this is the assignment, a brief summary of all of the readings. Include a description of the evidence that is used by the authors. Where do they get their information? How do they develop their theories or arguments? Uh, this is really important in climate change. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and there's a lot of people who are presenting um, opinions as though they are fact. So we want to be able to practice uh, searching for the evidence cited behind the articles, behind the research. Um, how do they know what they're saying? Do they just feel that it's true or is there some good evidence behind it? So we're going to practice looking for this evidence. And that's one of the things that I want you to include in the, these weekly papers. Um, and finally, each essay must include uh, some sort of implication. So this will be your what you are putting into it. But again, from a professional, from an academic standpoint, what does this mean in terms of psychology? What does this mean in terms of human society? Um, what are you learning from all of this? And again, focused on information, focused on content. You will upload these essays into Blackboard in the appropriate uh, course content folder. There will be uh, an icon that you can click on to upload your assignment. Uh, next, in the weekly assignments, we will have your Teach What You Know blog or vlog. Uh, this is the place for personal opinions and emotional comments. Um, I want you to be able to speak about disaster and climate change academically and professionally, but I also want you to be able to speak about it personally. Um, these are issues that affect lives. Um, and I want you to be able to communicate these things to your friends and your family, your community members. Um, and so in this assignment you will be practicing, basically teaching what you know to other people. So I have a graduate certificate in disaster management and humanitarian assistance. I've been working on the psychology of climate change for seven or eight years. I know a lot about this. I have a lot of information in my head. I've thought a lot about the implications. But my worst case scenario personally is that my sister is in a disaster scenario and she doesn't know what I know to do because I never talked to her about it. That's one of the reasons why we want to practice talking about these things. Um, so each week while you are doing this uh, blog or web blog or video weblog, I want you to um, either type out uh, 200 to 300 words or if you are tired of typing after all of your critical summary essays, uh, you can record a two to three minute video of you talking, upload it to YouTube, um, and then share the YouTube link on your, your blog page. Um, but yeah, this is, this is our practice of talking to normal human people. Just skip the jargon, skip everything else, and talk about what you know, yeah? Uh, next we will have research activities.
throughout the semester. The first will be survey preparation and dissemination. I've been conducting research on the psychology of disaster and climate change in the Pacific Islands regions for, for years. Um, this year, come, uh, starting this fall, I am going to be piloting new research in Maine, uh, building on the previous research, but shifting it to a new location with a new, new communities and populations. Um, in class, we are going to be revising my previous survey so that it fits in Maine. Surprisingly, not everything that works in Maui and American Samoa makes sense in Maine. Um, so we're going to start, we'll have brainstorming sessions about how we can make it fit here. We will have a revision phase, um, kind of tidying up the survey and making it really good. And then we'll have a dissemination phase. We'll, we'll send it out to friends and family members, try to get some data in, and test it out, see if it works. Um, and all of this, your participation in this, uh, these activities will be 5% of your final grade. I am also going to be conducting workshops. Part of my previous research in the Pacific Islands region was to have community workshops uh, that have basically two main purposes. Uh, one is to educate the community about disaster preparedness and climate change preparedness. Um, but the other goal is to learn from communities about their specific needs with disaster preparedness and their needs with climate change. In the past, I have used information gained from this research, from um, interviews and surveys and these workshops as well in order to create disaster preparedness booklets. Uh, you will be reading these in a few weeks actually. Um, this semester I'll be implementing, implementing sorry, a few of these workshops around the state of Maine. Uh, the locations, the times and dates, they are not set yet. If you are interested in participating in one of these live workshops, let me know. We'll be talking about it in class and we will try to make sure that um, the time and the place is set up in a place where you can get to it. Um, and that will be your credit for this assignment. Um, other people are not going to be interested or available to work um, on live workshops uh, and to participate and help out with those. So uh, I still want you to have the experience of helping to educate your community about these issues that we're learning. So we will be creating a web page in this class that will have online educational resources. And if you choose this route instead, you will create something, something really good that um, is not overwhelming. I don't want you guys to get bogged down trying to write a whole book or make a feature length film or it'll be something small and reasonable uh, where you are teaching this thing to the community in some format. We'll work on that throughout the semester. It's purposefully very open. I want it to fit with what you're comfortable with and what you know about and what you're good at doing. Um, but we also want to be able to have resources available to educate our community about these topics. Next, uh, you will be conducting an interview. This is your own little bit of research um, that you get to practice. You will identify a climate change or disaster uh, professional to interview. As researchers, we want to uh, respect our participants, and that means that we want to use their time well. We want to learn from them, and uh, we want to have really good interview questions. So we're going to start with that. We're going to figure out who it is that we'll interview. Um, and then we will write uh, good interview questions and give each other feedback on um, how we can make the questions better, how we can uh, hone the interview so that when we do go in to talk to these people, they know that we respect their time and are looking to learn from them. Um, ultimately, it's going to be your show. You don't have to listen to the feedback if you think it's all garbage. That's fine. That's part of research too. But we do want to have that experience of working collaboratively. Uh, you will write one of your papers, one of your four papers on this interview. Uh, but the credit for this item here, uh, doing an interview, comes from you spending the time to prepare your interview and then actually conducting the interview. Um, the paper itself, that's a separate grade that will not go into this. So the 5% of your grade here, working on creating a good interview and then doing it. Next. Four papers, full essays. You will write 
four papers throughout the semester, synthesizing what you are learning on this topic. Uh, similarly to the weekly critical summaries, these are academic papers. They will discuss information and implication. They'll have theories and arguments. This is not the place for opinions or emotions. This is an academic writing. You will use APA format. Um, unlike your weekly critical summaries, however, in which um, you are reviewing every single reading in your critical summaries, in these papers you will discuss the psychological and societal implications of the topic. Um, you may or may not reference all the readings you have read on this topic. Uh, you may look for for outside resources, depending on what you choose to write about. Um, but you want to be careful to choose academic resources if you're going to be going outside of this class. You can call or visit the UMA libraries if you have any questions about this. They love uh, talking about quality uh, research and academic articles. Um, they, they will help you find what you need, which will make it easier for you. You have the choice. You can either talk about the topic broadly as it is defined. For example, human dimensions of disaster, talk about everything that has been laid out so far and discuss the implications of it. Or you can more narrowly focus on one specific aspect within that topic. Uh, so for example, within the human dimensions of disasters, if you don't want to talk about everything, say for example, you want to talk about the role of emergency responders. Well, um, you do have to discuss at some point how it fits within um, the larger topics. So you may discuss um, how they rely on disaster preparedness and response infrastructure and design, um, how they uh, fit into the locations they uh, serve. Um, how they themselves may be victims of the disaster to which they are responding, and so they themselves may be uh, experiencing trauma that victims experience. Um, so you'll kind of mention how your narrow topic fits within the broader topics we've discussed, but having done that, you can then focus on that narrow topic. Again, I leave it to you and we can talk about it as you are developing your papers. Um, never wallow in despair. Always talk to me about it. Um, the topics are listed on page four of your syllabus. Um, I am flexible, I'm open, I'm reasonable. I want you to talk about what you're interested in and what you know about. Um, you, if you're going to be very flexible in your interpretation of the assignment, Probably it's cool, but you might want to check with me just to make sure. Um, it's, it's always a good idea to keep open lines of communication, yeah. Now the class assignments and schedule uh, are on pages 5 to 9 of your syllabus. Uh, this class is divided into six units. Each unit talks about a new topic having to do with disasters and climate change within psychology. Uh, the syllabus, as I mentioned, is your new best friend because it has all of the deadlines for all of your readings and all of your assignments. Uh, go to your syllabus first before you ask me when something is due. Um, and also remember to check your syllabus and not just rely on the readings that are uploaded to Blackboard because again, I'm not going to be uploading the chapters from the books that you're purchasing. Um, remember that every week you are required to write a critical summary essay and a blog post. Um, and we'll start the semester working on the survey research um, in the discussion forum. As that winds up, you'll start working on identifying and scheduling your interview um, and developing high quality interview questions. And then throughout the semester, we'll be talking about the workshop. Um, so you'll either be attending the live workshop and preparing for that or creating your online web resource. But again, uh, the interview and the workshop for the most part are going to be on a very flexible schedule on your own throughout the semester. We'll keep in touch about it. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for this course, uh, what we'll be doing. If you have any questions, if you have any confusion, 
um, please contact me. Uh, look through Blackboard, that might um, clarify any questions, but also you are always welcome to email, to call, to stop by my office during my office hours, and uh, we can schedule a Google video chat if you're not available to uh, come to Bangor but you do want to talk in person. So let me know. I'm looking forward to this semester and uh, we'll talk soon.